my name is Carolyn. If you're new here, I decided that I wanted to film what my night routine looks like. I just got back from a run with Jagger, who couldn't really keep up with Hunter. And basically, what time is it? It's 7.30 now. So my night routine begins basically quite as, as early as I can. <laughs> Grandma likes to go to bed as soon as she can. So it is my turn this week to cook dinner today. Jagger cooks most of the meals. I offered recently to make one meal a week. And so I asked him if he wanted it to be today or tomorrow because I leave this week for Vegas. So those are the two days he has as an option. I'm gonna cook tonight. It's gonna be really quick and easy. I've never made this recipe before, but I figured I'd just turn the camera on and start filming basically what a night looks like for me and what I try to do to wind down and set myself up for the next day. So since tonight I'm cooking, I'll show you guys what it is that I'm making. It's called an air fryer chicken pasta. This is actually a recipe by my team lead with Arbonne. She makes the best meals. I feel like she has such great recipes all the time. I highly recommend you follow her if you're interested in like really clean, gut-friendly recipes and they're super easy. And I have to work with, I have the organic chicken I left thawing out basically all night. <laughs> and then I have the little baby tomatoes. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but Jagger likes them, so I'm gonna put them in there. Um, we're using Bonza chickpea pasta. It's gluten-free, grain-free, and no carb. Well, it is carb still, but there's protein in them because of the chickpeas that it's made out of. This is the rub I'm going to use for the chicken. Uh, I don't have anything else. This is the closest thing I could find. Thing I can find to what she had, and the ingredients are pretty decent actually. And this is the kicker that kind of makes it not so healthy, unfortunately. But again, the only pasta I have. The reason why I don't like to use this one is because it has it has sunflower oil. It's my first time making this, so I really don't know what to expect or how it's going to go, so we're going to try it out and see. I'm going to get the chicken prepped, and then I'm going to put it in the air fryer for about, I think, 12 to 15 minutes until it's done. So, hopefully, this won't take too long. All right, I already washed my hands, okay? just took a shower. I don't take a shower every single night. Um, only if like I just worked out like that evening, then I'll obviously shower after. So that's why I'm showering right now. But every morning it's a 
non-negotiable for me to shower for sure. So some days, given that, I will be, I guess, stuck in a way, showering twice. Another fun fact about me, I like have to clean my ears like two to three times a day. I just, I have to. A shower at night always feels good, if I'm honest. I absolutely love the feeling afterwards. I'm doing my skincare now. I like to, if you're wondering why the lighting in here is so dark, I purposely only turn on one of them because it helps me start setting the mood for like winding myself down. Let's see how that's really bright. Yeah, we don't like that. So I'll do the other light in the morning when I'm trying to wake up because that's the whole point of having both of us. It's kind of what we're trying to accomplish there in the morning. But right now it's currently, it's 946. I typically will start this routine around nine. That's sort of my cutoff time, but I was really into that Friends episode with Jagger. So it's really hard to get up from the couch. I like to just sitting down. Oh, so part of the reason why I like working out in the morning is because then I get to feel like I have that moment to fully sit and unwind for maybe like an hour or so right after work and then get into whatever it is I want to do. Um, but since we ended up working out today, instead of relaxing, if you will, I probably won't get to do much else besides just get ready for bed and get my stuff ready for tomorrow, uh, which I'll show you guys kind of what that prep looks like. But right now we're doing my skincare. So I usually, well, I really, my skincare at night is actually really simple. I only use three different things. Uh, I just had a facial this last weekend, Saturday, and my esthetician actually told me that I was kind of dry, which was interesting because I didn't think I had felt dry. I didn't think I was dry, but I guess I am a little bit. So I've been, you all know, I love Summer Fridays. I It's like my absolute favorite skincare brand I've ever tried. Um, so I'm using their like extra hydrated serum, Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. So I normally only apply this one at night. I was using it in the fall, in the morning, like as a base coat for my moisturizer. Um, because just like during the fall and winter, those months I feel like them to be just colder, obviously, but they cause a little bit more dryness to my skin so I was kind of almost using it twice and then I love using the jet lag mask by them as well and this is super hydrating it's like a very thick um it's not even a moisturizer honestly I think it's just it's literally meant for hydration it's like what's on their bottle it says like hydrate you can see it there but I literally use like this much not very much at all and it just does the trick for me for overnight I love using this too whenever I'm traveling because I never ever ever wear any makeup on a plane you never will see me uh, and most of the reason for that is because it's just not good to do so when you're in high elevation so I've been told in terms of like taking care of your skin um, and this is very intense uh, it's a very intense hydrating mask so people say this is a really good um, mask to wear when you're up in an airplane because your skin gets extra dry I guess when you're that high up in the air so and then last but not least is literally just some like a lip mask at night this lip mask by Laneige this is the oh it doesn't even have like a center flavor never mind Yo, I'm, I'm running out of this almost. I actually got lucky and I found this at TJ Maxx. How oh, is it like maybe a few months before my wedding? I found two different ones. And they were like half the price of what they cost at Sephora. So you know your girl. Bought both because I can't. And I was trying to, you know, get it at the best price. So... That's it. That's really all that I do for my skincare. There's nothing else really to it. I do, and I have been trying to be better about taking care of my hair because I feel like with the length that it's at, I'm just like, I always want to be really transparent on here. I've been extremely, extremely tempted to trim it. I'm not going to lie to you because the ends are so dead. At least that's how I feel. I feel like they just look dead unless I like do something to it. Like I curl it, I use 
you know, a straightener of some sort, but even, or I braid it. Um, I have been resorting a lot to just putting it up in a bun and it's been like, ugh, probably the worst thing I could do for my hair if I'm honest. I read somewhere too that the key way to kind of take care of your hair is also to, oh my gosh, they have little knots. It's best to comb your hair rather than to brush it. So I bought this two pack of combs from Amazon and I have been doing this every night lately. And then what I'll do is I'll try to go to bed with it at least combed out or if I don't have curls like this in it kind of, like this is still from Sunday, the waves are going strong apparently. Um, I try to only wash my hair like twice a week. So my typical schedule is like Wednesday or Thursday and then again Saturday, which depending on if I even end up washing it twice, sometimes I'm able to wait all the way up till Friday night and then it's just Friday that I'll wash it and then wait again till probably Wednesday or Thursday. Um, but this has kind of really been helping. I have been also making it a point to like curl it a certain way. What do you want, Bubba? Uh, so that I can have like some type of style to it. So it doesn't look super like lame during the day. I also am trying to wear my hair more so in a ponytail than in um, a bun, even though I like the bun is so quick and easy, but I heard that really ruins your ends. I should be wearing those, um, I should be using these. But to this, when I put it up, yes, it's better than a ponytail and having it in a bun, but it like creases my hair so badly and a lot of times my hair is just not, oh, I don't know, I don't want it to be super badly creased because then if like after work I have somewhere to be or something to do like church related, I have to leave my hair basically super casual like that or put it in a bun to make it look a little bit more dressed up. Like I just, and I don't want to have to curl it because it's like I'm just going to something like midweek or like, I don't know. So anyways, the struggle's real with my girlies along here. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Well, this one's really giving me a hard time to comb out. But yeah, I'm not going to pretend like I've been doing this every single night. I've been trying to. And so far I've been consistent for maybe a few weeks now. Um, and... The reason why is because lately we've had a lot going on with church, so I feel like I'm always coming home almost like too exhausted to care about my hair. <laughs> like, I don't even really do my skincare every single night for crying out loud, and that is like almost something I tend to prioritize more than my hair, which, as you can see, I'm paying for it now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I might have to brush this one out because this is really bad. That's not. Fortunately. I had to brush that out. I couldn't use my comb. It was too difficult. But I lost my curls a little bit there. Whatever. I am... Tomorrow's my last day. Tomorrow's my Friday. Basically, just for this week. Because we're I'm heading to Vegas Thursday morning for the Arbonne Conference. And I will be washing my hair that morning after my workout. So, we'll go to the trip with freshly washed hair, basically. I'm sorry if you can hear my husband's games in the background. This guy... I don't know if you can hear that, but this is what I have to deal with at night. He's lucky I sleep like a rock, otherwise it would bother me. But alright, so we've done everything as far as like uh, maintenance and self-care go, so this is what I look like now when I'm going to sleep. The camera makes me look better than I actually do, but I also don't wear makeup every day. So I feel like who you guys see on Instagram is actually really what you're getting right now because I have done um, all that I could to basically develop a really good skincare routine and take care of my skin to the point where I don't feel like I need any type of cover up. I basically curl my eyelashes and I won't even wear mascara. I literally just curl them and I go to work like that. Alright, so this part of the night is done. Oh, I also wanted to share since we're on this topic. The place I go get facials at, they sell um, travel sized stuff. And I've never used toner ever. I actually heard from a dermatologist how toner is probably the least needed skincare product 
out there on the market. I feel like people really like put a lot more attention to it than they should be and it's actually not very good for your skin. It's what I've heard. But we're going to try it out and see. Maybe that's just how she felt. I don't know. Um, but this is the place I go to to get my facials at. It's called Facial Works and they have a few different locations out in Orange County but the closest one to me is out in Newport. And so I decided to give them a try and get their cleanser because they have a refilling station. So basically you get 25% off your first um, products you get there, like of any item. And then every time you go in to get it refilled, you don't have to pay the full price again because you're just coming in to refill it. And the refills you still every single time will get 10% off. So I thought that was kind of nice, um, at least for like travels. <sighs> Does this mean I'm going to ditch my summer Fridays? I don't know. I'm always looking for ways to incorporate, I guess, like products that work and cost less. Because as much as I love Summer Fridays, they cost an arm and a leg sometimes to keep up with them. Um, bigger items like the masks I use today at night, I would say maybe isn't that big of a deal. If I have to restock on that because that I don't go through as quickly as the cleanser and the moisturizer. So cleanser and moisturizer are like a non-negotiable for me. I probably will um, continue to restock them as long as I um, keep liking it. But then if I want something a little bit less as far as cost goes, I'll have to try something else out. But... Alright, so now to move on to the next part of my night routine, which is having my tea and getting my lunch ready. So we're going to do that. Bye.